Hi. So let's just get this right out of the way. I changed my hair again. Um, don't really know what's happening, but you know, like mental breakdown at 11 p.m. things. Loves. It will probably be all blonde soon, like in the next two weeks. I just did this next, or I just did this last night. So like. Yeah, it's gonna have to go soon because I'm not really too into the mixture, but we're in it for fun now. I just wanted to come up here on this camera today to talk to you guys about growing, moving on, and looking forward and not looking back. Um, I've been doing a lot of that lately, and I think you should too. It's something that we all are capable of doing, but we don't think we are until we take the steps to do so. So, that means cutting off people that may not be the best for you at the moment um not involving yourself in any type of situation that is going to make you feel shitty after or get you into some trouble or anything like that or any potential trouble um and really just staying true to who you are as a person and sticking to it no matter what don't switch up on yourself so what do i mean by that um Sometimes some people are going to come into your life and you're going to go, you know what, I'm really happy that you came into my life, but I think it's time for you to go out of my life now because you're no longer benefiting me. And I think that a huge misconception that a lot of us have is that in order for you to move on from somebody or something or anything that you move on from, you have to be bitter towards it. And that is not the case, sweetheart. You don't have to be bitter towards anything because nobody needs a bitter bitch. So, for example, a few years ago in my life, I was hanging around a whole bunch of people that were not on the same level that I was trying to be at in life. That means, like, getting shit done and doing good for yourself. Um... Some people just are at different levels than you, and that doesn't make them a bad person. That doesn't make them shitty. It just means that you're on a different level that you would like to be on rather than what they are on at this moment. We all move in different paces. We're all different people. We're all going to be evolving at different times. So just because somebody has not made that decision for themselves yet doesn't mean they're a shitty person. It just means that Right now, they're not ideal for your situation, and that's totally fine. So what I did was I stopped hanging around a lot of people when I was 18 years old, and it has benefited me a lot. It's not to say that these people are assholes or all of them are terrible people. Some of them happen to be a little terrible, but most of them are not terrible just because we all grew in different ways. My question for you today is, have you found yourself in that type of situation recently where you're looking around your surroundings and you're like, hmm, maybe I should move on from this. Maybe I should do something different with my life or maybe I should practice something else. Um, if you find yourself asking these questions, that means it's time, honey. Now, that doesn't mean that it's easy. It's not a really simple thing to just change your ways and start doing something different it takes like I don't know 60 days to form a habit or something or 30 days I don't know it takes a certain amount of time to get into a habit this habit would probably be just staying away from toxic behaviors and people and toxic doesn't always mean bad that's just like the easy way of putting it basically it just means toxic for you so just because you get into a fight with Kelly and you decide that you can't be friends with her anymore. It doesn't mean Kelly's a toxic person. It just means that maybe she was toxic for you or you were toxic for each other. So if you found yourself recently thinking like, hmm, this person seems to be getting themselves into a lot of trouble. Maybe I should not be around that anymore. I think you just have to suck it up and just go for it. Um, if you really do want the change, the change starts with you, sweetheart. We all can evolve. Um, obviously, I have been very public with a lot of things. A lot of those public things were very petty and not a side of me that I would like to display to the world. I love to joke around and I love to be that bitch that's always kidding and laughing around and sharing jokes and stuff and stories. But there is a line 
I think at some point where it's like, okay, are you kidding? Or do you just actually need to work on yourself? So I think that the first step is really identifying that, looking at things that you do every single day and just looking at the people that you choose to be around every day and just evaluating it in your head. Is this good for me or is this not good for me? You know it in the back of your head. I think that it's just so simple to just throw that away and just be like, oh no, like, let me just brush that off. It's just a stupid little thought. You were thinking of it for a reason. So think about it a little bit harder. I think that anybody in this entire world has room and time to change themselves if they really want to. Um, it doesn't matter how shitty of a person you think somebody is or how shitty of a person somebody might actually be. They might one day be able to take a look at that and go, hmm, maybe that's not the right thing to do or maybe that was wrong of me. And I don't want to put that out there to people. Um, for example, me with this whole uh, catfish episode, it's been about a year now for us since we recorded it. And it's been about seven months or so since, I think it was, yeah, it's like about seven months or so since it aired. So this is old news to us, but... In the beginning, I was proud of it, and I was like, you know what? Yes, this is who I am. I love drama. I love pettiness, and I want to put that out into the world. Now, looking back at it, just a year later, or seven months later, I'm going, oh, why was I doing that? Why why would I want to put present myself in that type of a way? Um, it's not what I want anymore. It's not what I think is me, and I feel that I need to be more authentic with not only myself, but with you guys who do watch my videos or who do keep up with the things that I post, I want to set an example for the people who maybe feel the need to put on some sort of a mask for themselves or some sort of a cover up just to kind of guard themselves, like putting on armor, hiding who they actually are as a person from other people because they're afraid of it or Maybe it boils down to self-esteem sometimes and you think, oh, well, I'm not that interesting of a person, so let me just hype it up a lot. Um, no. Somebody out there is going to like you for who you are, they're going to appreciate you for who you are, and they're going to see who you are as an actual person rather than that mask because a lot of the time you can see right through that mask when people are doing it. Am I right? Am I right? Am I right? You can see right through it. You can see that... Maybe this person is just trying so hard and it kind of makes me feel bad sometimes because I can relate to that. Like when I see people trying so, so hard to like prove a point or to be extra or to be petty or start some sort of drama, it makes me kind of feel for them. It makes me go, hmm, maybe their lives aren't that happy and that's why they feel the need to do this. And it's really hard to get to that point and it's not always like that with me like sometimes I am really quick to go oh this guy is an asshole or this girl is such a douche but if you really just take a minute to evaluate the situation in your head and just break it down into steps that helps so much and that's something that I've learned in coaching and something that I practice every day and it's not always going to be like that 100% I'm not saying that I'm this angel that's walking around the world judge free and I just accept everybody because it's not realistic. I don't know personally anybody who's 100% like that. Um, it's kind of in our human nature to get upset quickly sometimes or jump to conclusions once in a while. But if you could just break that down in your head for at least most of the time, like say somebody starts some problems with you because they feel that you are wrong or they have been hurt by your actions or something. Instead of just jumping into that argument and fighting with them, how about you just take a minute, break it down into little different sections or scenarios and go, okay, well, this person starts arguments with everybody, so it's not just me. Um, this person is not the happiest that they've ever been, so maybe that plays a big part in it too. They're hurting on the inside. And maybe my actions did hurt this person, and that's what's causing them to act out like this. Um, one of my favorite things that I've learned in coaching is that anger and being pissed off at the world or other people, 
the underlying emotion there is just sadness. So that just means that maybe this person is just so sad and miserable with themselves that they have to pick fights with people or they have to have a reason to be upset. Um, it's not always you. Don't take everything in this world personally. There's going to be people that just want to start fights with people for no reason or they want to bring people down or they want to just make people feel like shit because they feel like shit themselves. And is it fair? No, but that's the way that they know how to cope with things and that's the way that they know how to react to things in life um, when it doesn't go as planned for them. And I think that a lot of us have that in us once in a while when I'm feeling sad or like if I'm in a bad mood or something, I'm so quick to start pointing fingers at people or getting angry at people for whatever reason. And then later on, after I've calmed down, I break it down and I go, was that necessary? Did I really, really have to start an argument about that? Did I have to start screaming and yelling about that when it wasn't the end of the world? That's what I love is that not everything is the end of the world and most things in this world can be fixed. And if they can't be fixed, you probably will live. Like if you have some sort of problem or something like with another person or whatever, you're gonna live. You're gonna get through it and it's not the end of the world. You've lived your life without them before and you'll do it now. I just really wanted to come up on here today and just share some positive tips and tricks for you. Um, this is just all things that I've been working on in the past year or so, and a lot of this is things that I've been really focusing on in the past few months. This is something that's newer to me. I am not trying to come across as some sort of specialist. I'm not a certified life coach. I'm not a life coach. I'm not a therapist. I'm not a psychiatrist. I'm not licensed to tell you anything, really, but... All I want to do is just share my experiences with you. I want to open up more. I want to show you more of who I am. And even if I only help one person who's watching these videos, that's enough for me, honestly, because I know that I can easily start some drama or get involved in some drama and I can get a few thousand views more than I normally would. Or I can get a lot of attention. I can start a whole thing on Instagram and have all these people clicking on my stuff. And, like, trust me, like, I know how to get attention quick and fast. But now I'm starting to realize that that attention, that negative attention, doesn't really do anything for me, really. It doesn't benefit me, make my life any more positive. It just, it's nasty stuff that I don't want to be putting out there. Especially when I'm taking the time to work on myself. How hypocritical would it be for me to sit here and try to get myself into positive mindsets and try to break down these problems that I have and then go on the internet and talk shit or go on the internet and start problems with people for whatever reason or feed into drama. I don't need any of it. I don't need any drama. I don't need any negative people and I don't need any negative situations going on up in here in my life or in my party or in my world. Um, if you don't like that, I'm so sorry that maybe I'm offending you for changing myself for good. I had a small audience before I went on this show. Afterwards, obviously, I did get more people. Um, the people that are coming from this show, if you're here for drama, petty behavior, any type of negative stuff like that, I'm sorry, but it's just not here anymore. It's not. Um, maybe a few months ago, if you came here for that, you might have gotten that, but it's not here anymore. I'm not there for it, and it's not something that I wish to continue. So if that's something that you came to my channel for, then I'm so sorry to inform you that I'm moving on from that. Um, you're more than welcome to come on my journey of self-help and self-love and getting to know myself more and we can help each other out that's the cool thing about this is we can all relate to each other and we don't even have to meet face to face like that's awesome that's the positive part of the internet not the negative part where there's all this stuff going on and shit talking and tea and all that i'm not going to be doing it anymore now, it's one thing if maybe we're talking about like celebrities or we're talking about YouTuber drama or something like that, and maybe people share their opinions on that. That's different because that's already out there. But for my personal self, 
if there's somebody who has a problem with me and they want to take this to the public, I'm not going to acknowledge it because one, I know that person is hurting on the inside and two, I know that all they want is for me to acknowledge it and I'm just not about that anymore. So well, welcome aboard, come on my journey and if you don't want to be a part of that journey, thank you so much for being a part of my journey up until this point and I wish you the best for yourself, your life, your family, friends, everything. Love you so much. Mean that. And as always, be safe, responsible, respectful. Always be a leader and have a day of excellence. I love you so much. And I'm trying to jump right back into filming at least once a week again. I know that I took a little bit of a break, but like I said, I've been really searching for who I am as a person and not only searching for who I am as a person, but how I would like to present myself. I'm done with the characters. Like, it's one thing, like, if I'm doing a skit or something like that, obviously there's characters in that, but I'm done with, like, the careless, petty attitude that I once had. It's not the way that I want to show myself to everybody, and it's not who I am as a person, and I really just want to show you guys that you can be yourself, you can love yourself for who you are, and you can change. It doesn't matter who you are. Come aboard, join me, and I would love to share like books and helpful tips that I have, really cool things that I've learned during coaching, and I just want to share this part of me with you. So if you're down for that, Thank you so much. I'm gonna cut this video now. It's been like forever. I'm sorry. It was supposed to be a shorter video, but I could talk forever and yeah. Don't forget, if you liked this video, feel free to give me a like. If you didn't like this video, feel free to give me a thumbs down. That's your opinion. If you would like to see more of my videos and you would like to come on this journey with me, feel free to subscribe and you'll get notifications every time I post a video. If you maybe want to share this with your friends, if you have friends that maybe can connect to this, or you're thinking about doing a big change for yourself, or having a friend come along with you, go ahead and share this video with them. I want this to reach people that actually want it, so if you're one of those people or you have one of those people in mind, go ahead and honey. Love you so much. Goodbye. You're so cute!